All right, green lights. We are gonna make a right here. Is that a fighter jet? <laughs> there we go. Well, guys, welcome. Welcome back, it's your boy Blue. And uh, we're actually here in Elko, Elko, Nevada, uh, to pick up a trailer of cars, uh, I believe from Tesla. But our right turn the indicator on there on the brake. And we're planning to take it up north to uh, Washington State. So it should be a pretty interesting drive. And I believe our pickup is just right here around the corner. Yep, there she is. There's the, uh, there is the pickup. And we're just going to go ahead and Finally. make a right here. And we're just back right and we must be uh, near a military base because there's a lot of fighter jets flying over us. So we'll go ahead and back in here and get lined up best we can. Slow, slow, slow. Perfect. Alright, cool. Alright, let's go ahead and put it into park and uh, we'll quickly do our pre-trip. So let's do a quick little pre-trip walk around. Uh, today we're taking out the Kenworth by John Ruta. I need to actually take off that oversized load uh, flag because this is not really considered an oversized load. But headlights look good. Uh, the front tires there look really good. Fully inflated. Everything is good there. Nice and clean truck. Just got it out of the truck wash. Tanks look good. We'll check back here. Uh, ooh, interesting. For whatever reason, we don't have the um, the hoses hooked up yet, but we'll probably do that once we uh, raise the landing gear. So we'll come back to that. Uh, we are looking good here, though, down here connected to the trailer itself. As you can see back here, the landing gear is still down. And here's our um, truck rear tires. They both look really good as well. And the mud flaps are all attached and looks good. Brake lights are working. That's good to go as well. You can see this is our actual load here. Uh, again, we have, uh, it's like some pickup trucks, some sedans. That's like a Mustang right there, actually. They're on the back of our load. And yeah, a couple Mustangs, a couple pickup trucks. Not too bad at all. But the trailer itself looks in pretty good condition. Uh, cars are secured. Straps are tied. You can see the straps right there, nice and tight. So you want to make sure those are tight. Uh, last thing you want is a, uh, a car rolling off in the highway somewhere in Nevada or in Washington. So uh, rear lights, we can go ahead and hit the brake, and that looks like it's pretty good as well. All right, all looks good from what I can see. Let's go ahead and raise the landing gear just like that. Beautiful. And you can also see now we have our air hoses all connected to the trailer. That's actually very, very, very important. So that looks good. Just going to double check that that's all set up. And attach. We got the green one, the red one, and the blue one. So, all right, let's go and hop back in the cab and get ready to head back north to Washington State. All right, back in the cab here in the Kenworth. Look ahead and release the parking brake. Throw it in the gear. Make sure we're in first. We'll put it in low, low, and we'll head on out. Make sure we watch out for all these cars parked here. We don't want to hit anything. So, watching our mirrors very carefully there. Let's bring it nice and wide. We got that nice 1800 degrees there right. on the wheel. And we can right turn. Look at that fighter jet flying right over us. I'm telling you, man, we're, we're near an air base. If you guys let me know in chat, uh, I'm not from this area. I've never heard of Elko, Nevada. I think most of us probably have never heard of Elko, Nevada. But uh, I might have to look it up myself and see if there's a military base out here for the U.S. Air Force or something. Because that's definitely an F-22 I saw. All right, we'll stop inside here at the Burgers. Pretty much a ghost town out here. It's not very busy here in Elko. All right, watch out for this car. You know, these guys don't want to give anybody any room. All right, we're good, though. Go straight on. All right, up through the gears. This is a completely manual gear truck we're running today uh, again this is a uh, the Kenworth uh, mod by John Ruta along with I believe the uh, Z mod sound pack and uh, of course we got a new wheel today that we're driving today 
Really excited about it. Been really enjoying it. Been doing a lot of trucking lately uh, because of this wheel. I've always enjoyed trucking. Uh, mainly, you know, I, I truck with the wheels that I had, you know, which is what most people do. You just, you know, use what you got. But this particular wheel just really makes driving trucks really satisfying. Like, it actually feels like I'm driving, you know what I'm saying, a big rig. And I kind of mentioned that back in my uh, unboxing video and my in-depth review so if you want more of my kind of detailed thoughts on uh, on the actual wheel itself uh, definitely check out those reviews but we'll definitely be talking about it uh, throughout this drive so we got a nice little drive out to uh, Yakima I believe Yakima Washington let's take a look at where we are going today so again as I said we are here in Elko Nevada if you have never tried American trucks in before never seen American trucks in before it's not very familiar this is what the entire map looks like so we got Texas down here we have uh, Kansas and again this is continually growing so depending on when you watch this in the future there may be even more states added I believe they're gonna run up through the uh, through the Midwest here next but uh, yeah as I said we are leaving from Nevada headed up to Yakima, Washington, which is right up here. But looking forward to a really interesting drive. Uh, hopefully we'll have mostly daytime. If we uh, if we run into night, we'll probably find somewhere to park for the night, take a rest, and then head back out. But this little section right here, this bendy section, is going to be very, very interesting to run through. Uh, it's probably going to be somewhere in the, in the Oregon Mountains, that's what my, my guess is. So should be pretty relaxed, chill drive. Uh, we'll just hang out. I guess <laughs> we'll see and one of my main concerns today is I'm gonna try to actually make it to our final destination without damaging our truck or the payload uh, lately in my trucking streams and in my uh, latest journeys um, I don't know, I've been a little bit careless I'll be honest I've been a little bit careless and you know not abiding by speed limits especially when we were driving in the snow that was crazy I mean you would hydroplane so easily, you know, braking, you just slide. It was crazy. So I'm trying to do better. I've, I've spent a lot of money on repairs since then. So I'm hoping that we could do better today. That'll start by staying in your lane, Blue. But all right, so we're rolling. <laughs> Speed limit is 88 miles per hour here in northern Nevada. We do have cruise control. We choose to use it. We could also jump into 8 high. So let's do that. Jump into 8 high gear. Ooh, that's a pretty sharp turn. Yeah, I don't know that we're supposed to be doing 80 miles per hour. Like, I feel like that's probably, like, the the commuter speed. Like, for trucks, it's probably, like, 70. Because the way I took that turn just now was hella dangerous. But, oh well, they say 80. We're going to do 80. That's kind of how I ran into a trap back when we drove <laughs> in a blizzard. And I was like, yeah, speed limit says 80, you know? Uh, but yeah, whatever. That's that was not the right thing to do, as we know now. So, by the way, we're on the way. I think the sun might set on us at some point. Would not surprise me at all. Now, so look at that cone man. <laughs> That's cool. I love stuff like that. Man. This is why I really do enjoy American Truck Sim, and I'm sure you get the same kind of satisfaction from Euro Truck Sim as well, uh, where it's like they do such a good job of like capturing the vibe the feel of an area oh yeah look at that that sun is definitely setting they do such a good job some of the POIs the points of interest the landmarks along a route uh, they did when they did Texas you know I had to buy Texas DLC it's my state that's where I'm from so I drove Texas I drove through my hometown and the areas that I'm familiar with and I was like oh my god this looks like I'm driving in my hometown like this literally looks like Houston Texas and uh, I was really impressed and since then I now have a greater appreciation for you know what they do and, and I, I trust them I guess you could say like I believe like right, if this is what they put in the game I believe this is what it looks like because they did such a good job with the scenery and the landmarks and the streets and in, uh, in Houston Texas and all of Texas now obviously everything is scaled down um, it's not one-to-one -one scale like like um, like train simulators or like let's go down a gear here or like flight simulators uh, all those sims are one-to-one -one scale even taxi life sim is one-to-one -one scale but it's only one city but here in American Truck Sim everything's scaled down which I don't mind now there are full-scale maps if if that's what you're into if you just want to drive 
full scale one to one somewhere like that's cool like, you could do that i know for me personally that's unless i'm in a very particular area um i'm okay with the scaled down version i'm okay with covering long distances in a short periods of time because it, what's funny is in real life as the sun is definitely setting we're probably going to stop at the next uh rest stop take a uh take some rest until we until tomorrow because i definitely want to see the scenery but what's funny is in real life i uh <laughs> i i really suck at driving long distance i really suck and what do i mean by i suck at long distance i just get tired man driving actually makes me sleepy i don't know if it's like something about like back when i was a kid we got a couple of tight turns here when i was a kid like if, if driving put me to sleep i don't know but either way driving makes me sleepy especially long trips even driving through traffic in, in town um i'm drained i'm just tired at the end of it and that jake break oh man look it's going downhill oh i love the sound of this uh z mod sound pack ay 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 all right got a little small town we might actually stop here this might be a good place for us to take a bit of a squat for the night Let's go up. Yep, 35 miles an hour. That's how they get you, man. You drive to these small towns, speed limit drops. We can actually park right there. Yeah, rest there. It's really tiny. I'm not sure how far the next one is. It's like one spot open. Yeah, we'll park here. I don't even, I don't even know where we are. <laughs> I have no idea where we are. Can we fit in there? I want to see if we can sneak back here and just drive straight into that parking spot. I think we can. Yeah, sweet. All right, man, that's going to save us a lot of time trying to back up on the main road. Traffic was not having it, man. How rude. Got a couple outhouses. That's going to be fun tonight. And there uh, should be one parking spot here at the end. It's going to go nice and wide so we can pull in there. Yeah, this might be a little tight. We should be able to make it, though. I hope I gave myself enough room. Yeah, I think we're good. Yeah, we're good. We're good. And throw it in neutral and stop right there. Actually, a little cricket. I don't want the guy laughing at me. There we go. Let's just go straight up. Straighten up. Turn left. I can't even see, man. Uh, all right. There you go, it's going to straighten up a little bit, and that's good. We'll park it there for tonight, and shut it down. All right, good morning. Engine is started back up. Let's go ahead and kill our parking brake. Got a little rain on the windshield now. It's weird because like, it looks like it's a bright day, but it's raining. And we'll continue on our trip. Traffic is actually better now than it was last night. There we go. The Hen Say Hen Casino. Had some decent food. Had some decent food. Stopped by last night. I had to try the chicken. Got some pretty fine hens in there. Welcome to Oregon. Nice. All right. See you, Nevada. Too bad it's raining. <laughs> I can't see the scenery as nice. But it's not too bad. It's not too bad. We still got a ways to go. Uh, didn't cover all that much distance, honestly, yesterday uh, before it got dark. But now we got a full day of riding ahead of us. And I am looking forward to the scenery here in Oregon and in Washington. Honestly, uh, I really enjoy driving through Oregon. I think if I had to pick... Hmm, actually, let me think about that. I was going to say if I had to pick my favorite state DLC for... Let's go down to 7th here. We are going uphill. If I had to pick my favorite state DLC for American Truck Sim, what would it be? Huh, that's a tough one. I mean, I was going to say Oregon is one of my favorites. I really enjoy a lot of the Oregon trails. <laughs> um, I don't know, I really like the Pacific Northwest, personally. It's just kind of that whole area. I can't personally pick a state. I like the whole area. Uh, what do you think, though? What's your favorite state DLC. Is this your home state or is it some other particular state for a particular reason? I know they're working on reworking in California, like the whole state. 
So that's going to be pretty nice when it comes out. Let's go ahead and put the cruise control on so we can relax. There we go. We'll set it for 66. And we'll turn the wipers up a little bit more. Some more wiper action. But yeah, I like the entire Pacific Northwest, which is the uh, northwestern part of the country. Washington, Idaho, uh, Oregon. Uh, I even really enjoy Montana, which I don't think is technically considered the Pacific Northwest anymore. I think it's just the north. But I like it. I like it up in that area. It's really pretty. A lot of windy trails. One of the thing, one thing I really enjoy doing is uh, finding the dirt roads, the windy dirt roads. I really enjoy that myself. Um, has a decent challenge as far as getting up the mountains and the hills. And uh, a lot of uh, woodworking out there. A lot of wood jobs, like um, uh, forestry stuff out there. So here's a hill. Look at that. That's a really high hill. See if the Let's see if the, it can get up here on its own without us shifting down a gear. It's doing pretty good on the cruise control. Which again, on the wheel there is a cruise control button as well. Again, again, if you see my my review, there's you can actually put stickers. There's stickers that come with the wheel that you can put on your wheel if you want it to like kind of indicate that it's for a certain thing. I don't plan on using those because I don't. Know, I like. I don't know, I, I like keeping, you know, things looking fresh and new and clean. And I feel like putting stickers on it just kind of, like, lower the quality of it, you know? Because the stickers get all dirty and they start peeling and stuff like that. I'm, I'm the same way with my actual car in real life. Like, I could never put a bumper sticker on my car. Uh-oh, we might have a way station up here. Alright, we got the green light, which means we do not have to stop. That's what I like to see. Oh, shoot, we're turning left here. Oh, no! Girl, <laughs> she was like, turn left. I'm like, when? Now. Jesus. That was close. It's crazy as I was literally staring at the map. And I was like, my, my head just did not, it did not, it did not, like, transfer. It, it did not register that we were turning. Until she said, turn left. I was like, wait a second. I gotta turn here. So we almost had a major accident. Um, I really didn't think we were gonna turn at the time. I thought we were gonna understeer. And, uh, and and go right into that sign, but we made it. Now we're behind this shale tanker truck. <laughs> that could be bad. I mentioned at the beginning of the video that the, the goal for this drive is really just to make it there without incident. Um, I've had a lot of incidents lately, and I'm just trying to you know make repair my reputation here. But man, look at this countryside, man. You can see the weather far out, which looks really good. You can also see just the the flat land like you can see really far this is what train sim world <laughs> needs it needs you need the ability to be able to see this far draw distance wise all right this guy might be a little slow uh, he's doing a speed limit i don't know should we know hezzy this or should i be patient i probably should be patient i did just say that i was gonna drive you know like a professional today i did sort of say that but yeah i really enjoy the the scenery being able to see so far out to the distance is really nice. And that's what's cool too of about having, you know, multiples of or driving across multiple states and state DLCs that you get to see that diversity of foliage and and every state really looks unique. It's it's hard to explain. Like you might think, oh, you know, like Oklahoma and uh, Kansas look the same or something like that, but they are actually pretty, fairly unique. And you, when you drive through them, you understand better what what I mean. Uh, and you'll see here in a little bit too, because we started off in Nevada, and Nevada looked much different than this. Nevada was more rocky mountains. Out here, it's more, you know, uh, hills and, and and gradient changes and things like that. So it's a bit different. And when we get out to Washington, it's, it may look even different, more different than than we see here. And even Northern Oregon, honestly, will probably change. So it's like everything looks different, and it looks unique to its region, and that's what's what's beautiful um, about. Going from state to state in American Truck Sim. I'm really considering passing this guy. I mean, the speed limit is 60, and he is doing 60. He is doing the limit. But there's nobody in front of him. Uh, there's a couple trucks behind us. And what I really, right, what I really need to do is just put it on cruise control and and chill the heck out. I don't know why I'm being impatient. Like I got somewhere to be. We got plenty of time to deliver the load, make the customer happy. Uh, assuming there's no detours. That would really suck. Alright, so we gotta slow down here to 35. Wow.
Yeah, it's a fairly tight turn. It's not that tight, but we definitely wouldn't want to take this at 60. Followed by a 45. Uh, how's our... Oh, our fuel is low, low. Oh, my God. We got a red light. Oh, that's not good. That's not good. Did y'all see a, a gas station back at that town we just passed? Alright, let's go on the fuel conservation mode here. <laughs> I'm sorry, lifting and coasting. I need more Lyco. Lift and coast. Yeah, I have a feeling about to drive through an area that's not going to have a single fuel st Oh, no, this is not good. I should have been paying attention. And all these hills is not going to be good for our fuel consumption. I'm a little worried about that now. I'm a little worried about that now. Now, I can put it in cruise control. And that will help kind of, you know, manage not playing with the throttle too much. But it also could go against me. Especially out here in the, in the mountains. Such a beautiful view, but I would hate to be stuck out here. I would hate to be stuck out here. Yeah, we're going uphill right now, and I'm full throttle. This is as fast as we can go. We're doing 53. And this is not what you want when you're, when you're trying to save fuel. Oh, we have a super tight turn. Oh, this is like the worst case scenario here. I'm going to go up to 7th. Yep, there it is, S turn. I think this is that section that I talked about. Oh, look, a CSX tra trailer. This is the section I talked about on the map, that real twisty turn part. But what makes this a bit more tricky, I mean, driving is not going to be difficult. But what's going to make it difficult is the fact that we have no fuel, and it's going to be impossible to save fuel going up the hill through this turn section. Impossible. Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's see how far we can get, guys. I mean, I don't know if there's any turning back now. We passed the point of no return. I tell you what, this turn right here will be really difficult in the snow. Alright, downhill. Will it a coast? Nope. I don't want any, uh, any Jake. Just let it coast. Throw it in neutral. <laughs> Throw it in neutral, let it roll down the hill. I'll obviously be ready on the brakes just in case. It's gonna be some miracle if we make it to a gas station from at this point. Look at our look at our fuel. The red light is on. Right, it's a really tight turn. Yeah, we're doing good. We're coasting still. So hopefully this is all downhill. That will be a lifesaver for us. If this whole, the rest of this twisty section is all downhill, that's going to save us a ton. A ton of gas. I should say a ton of gas. We don't even have a ton of gas to save. But yeah, look at this. Massive grade change. And we're actually speeding up. We're doing 49 to 50. Watch out for this fairly tight. It's not that tight. <laughs> I don't know how long you guys think we're going to make it, man. Reduce speed ahead. That's a good sign. That means that there might be a city ahead. Either a city or a tight turn. Not sure which one. I think I see something on the map. I see a parking. Yeah, I see a parking uh, area. All right, it's going to be a bit tight for us to hit at uh, 54. Oh, we almost bobtailed. We're okay. Still letting it coast. There's a stoplight up ahead. We're speeding a little bit. We're just trying to keep momentum at this point. All right, we'll come to a stop here. Kind of wish this light was green. I really wish this light was green. Oh my God. We are on E. Like, we are on. We are. Please tell me there is a gas station up ahead. There's something up there. I don't know what it is. 
But there's something up ahead. Easy, easy, buddy. We oh, yep, gas station up ahead, guys. There's the gas station. Rest area on the left. Oh, this is going to be close. This is going to be a close call. I'm trying to basically just try to gain as much momentum as possible in case we run out. Entering Mount Vernon, which I believe is in Oregon. All right, right turn here. We're going to go wide. Let it coast. And there is a gas station. Guys, can you believe it? We actually made it. We actually made it. All right, let's put it back into low here. Bro, that's a freaking miracle that we made it to the gas station. We were complete, basically empty. We were on E, bro. We're flatlined on E. Woo. All right, parking brake set. Let's fill up and uh, and we'll make our way up to up to Washington. All right, we are full. Look at that, baby. We are on full, man. That gas station was very well placed. Very well placed. All right, let's go ahead and continue on our journey. Watch out for the pumps. Uh, it's gonna be a right turn here. It's pretty, pretty tight. A little. I'm surprised they uh they accept big trucks like me here at this uh, gas station. Finding a new route. Oh, we got a car coming. We gotta get out of the way. I'm sorry. We gotta take the whole <laughs> whole street. Sorry, man. Go ahead about your business. Oh man, what a what a relief. We should be good all the way to our destination now. Wow, that was a close call. That was a close call. But we're now headed back up, uh, I guess, uphill. Through a bit more of the mountains here in Oregon. We're still, we should be still be in Oregon. There's a cop right there, Oregon police. Oregon State Police. Speed limit is 55. And look at that, we got some forestry right there off our right there. We got a log trailer we got an excavator out there picking up some stuff I love seeing that love seeing you know activity uh, roadside Wow look at that view oh my god <laughs> bro pay attention to the road <laughs> I was gonna say wow look at that view off on the left that is pretty cool I'm really liking the roads up here. Really li liking the roads. So let's slow down again here as we wrap around this uh, mountain. Look at that Schneider. Big orange truck. And back down the hill. Looks like we'll be going mostly downhill from here. I love this is the kind of the roads I personally really like I like the windy roads that's that's my style of driving not just in trucking but in general even in real life I love going down roads like this that have the trees kind of tight the rock uh, formations next to the road fencing a lot of foliage you're doing s turns left to right now it does make me a little nervous because you know sometimes people drive like maniacs through those areas and yeah but it's still fairly fun. You know, another thing I really would love to see in American Truck Sim is the ability to, like, I know that you can own a garage, and that's cool, but wouldn't it be even cooler if you could actually own, like, a house or a farm or something like that? Like, I mean, th think of it in, like, the way, like, um, like Forza uh, Horizon, if you've played that, where you could actually go and buy a house and you can spawn at that house you can choose your car at that house so it's, it's basically like an extended garage obviously you probably have you know maybe more limited options since this is a trucking game you know like maybe you can't do as much stuff at the at your house as you could do at the garage I don't know but I think it'd be pretty cool to be able to you know have a place in the American truck sim world and Euro truck sim world that you could basically just kind of call home rather than just your garage uh, or even imagine if you did have like a kind of like a more civilian car, you could drive your car from your house or the place you call home up to your garage, pick up your truck, and then go about your business. Um, I don't know. It's it's 
so much potential. I just have so many ideas. Look at this site though right here. We got the rocks on the right, kind of a bit of mountain there, the river with the forest on our left and the guardrail. This is just this has been just a, a gorgeous flight. No, sorry, it's been a flight. It's been a gorgeous drive so far. Oh man, he tried I'll tell you man, like a maniac's out here driving. That's why he got pulled over. Ain't it, ain't it? But it's very, very nice out here. Beautiful. Wow, what is that a tree farm? That's interesting. Huh, that's definitely gotta be a tree farm. Yeah, it is a tree farm. Uh oh, what happened? We hit somebody? Yakima next two exits. We are almost there. Union gap is in one mile, there's another train below. Is that a train? No, it's not a train, that's just containers. Weird. Why are they just sitting there? Union Gap, I have no idea what that means, but it's a one mile away from us. Make a right turn. Oh man, a little understeer there. Let's go get on the brakes here. Make a right turn here behind that red car. Exit 38. Finally, we are approaching a Yakima. But we are here, there's the Yakima Walmart and the Denny's. We should have a left turn coming up here. We'll just go here in the middle lane. You know some Burger King sounds pretty good right now to me. I'm really trying not to eat at fast food. I'm really trying hard, it's not easy. <laughs> it's not easy, I'm trying my hardest not to eat out as much. But you know how it is, guys. But it looks like we're here. Looks like this is where we'll be dropping off these cars. Yep. Hewitt. I think this is uh the train place. This is where it ends. I think this is I think a train's gonna pick it up from here. Alright, let's see where they wanna put this away at. I think they want it in this line of trucks here on my right. Yep, I can see it. Right, how do we get in there? Oh, that is a tight spot. That is gonna be fun. Alright. All right, challenge accepted. Challenge accepted. Pop the mirrors on for this one. All right, we'll see if we can do this from the inside view. If if all else fails, I'll try from the outside view. That's right, so a pretty fairly hard left turn here. It's kind of hard to see exactly where it is. I guess one thing about driving on, on a 2D screen is that you have really no sense of of depth perception. I know I'm already making excuses. <laughs> oh why I, why I can't do this very right, hard right turn this this might be a little too tight we'll see that's kind of hard to tell I can't really see where my trailer is pointed right now we're gonna keep backing up so we get a little visual of where we are putting her yeah we're way off way off yeah we we went too too sharp on that turn so I'll try to flip it the other way. Yeah, way too sharp on that turn. Way too sharp. Let's try that again. All right, throw it in reverse. Hopefully this is far back enough. Yeah, I, I like backing up on the left side anyways. Better, I can actually peek out and uh, and see where we are. So I feel really good about this one. I feel really good about this one. Alright, keep her coming, straighten it out a little bit. It's very similar to pushing back an actual aircraft. Okay, yeah. Okay, yeah, we're too tight again. Yeah, we're just getting a little too tight on that. I think I'm used to pushing back um, longer trailers. So. Come on. Alright, follow it. You know what? You know what it is? I'm turning the wrong way. I am turning the wrong way. That's what the problem is. I don't know what the heck I'm thinking. Oh look, BNSF train. All right, let's try it again. Wow, listen to it. <laughs> All right, again. So let's let it turn its own. It already wants to go there. It already wants to go there. She wants to park herself, basically. Just follow her. 
Just guide her in. That's all we gotta do. I right, watch that right side. Right side looks good. All right, let it let it go. Let it go. I'm feeling good about this one. Listen to the train in the background. All right, hard hard left turn. Hard 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 hard. All right, we're gonna have to straighten up. We got room ahead of us, which is good. All right, let's pull forward. Oh yeah, see, so, yeah, we got plenty of space out to maneuver here. Plenty of space to maneuver. I'm just gonna come here and I'm just gonna get a bit sharper there out towards the right. Looking at my top right mirror right now. Now we can straighten up. Yeah, it's much easier for me to guide the trailer in when I can see it off my left side and my left mirror than it is to the right. And we're a little bit off again, just a tiny bit. We're gonna pull up. Just pull up straight up. It's all right. Don't no shame in having to go back and forth a few times. You know what I mean? I'm not a professional truck driver at all. So no shame, in my game here. Yeah, there we go. All right, come on. Yeah, I'm turning the wheel way too late. Way too late. That train's already on its way out. We're almost there. We are almost there. It shouldn't have taken me this many times. Honestly, this is a pretty straightforward um, thing, but I am using a new wheel, and I'm not used to having to turn it so much. And that's good my excuse. Did it again. We might be to save that one though. We might be to save that one. I think we're in there. I think we're in there, guys. Flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. Oh, we're so close. Man, we keep oversteering. It's like, Jesus. We really all we had to do that last time was just go straight back. Because <laughs> we're already there. We're literally already there. All right, just a little bit of turn to the right. To the right. There we go. And then just guide her in. Just guide her in. Just guide her in. Straighten up. Straighten up. Just like that. Yeah, we're a little bit to the right, but it's okay. I guess that guy's got plenty of room. Ooh, that's that's okay. That's all right. Can we flip this way a little bit more? I'm picky right now. I'm picky. I want to be. I want to be right in the center. We're almost there, though. We're really close. I mean, we're in there. We, we could have accepted that. They would have accepted that. But I want to be right in the center of the parking. I want to be right in the center. All right. Straighten up. There we go. Just go right straight back. Straight back. Just like that. There we go, guys. We're in that thing. Took a, a few more tries than I wanted to, to take. But, hey, we got it in there. And I think at the end of the day, the customer's happy. There we go. Didn't hit anything. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Yakima, Washington. Brake sets. Oh, yeah, those brakes sound so good. But pretty good parking job, I have to say here. Uh, you can see we have the landing gear down now. Everything is disconnected, and uh, the customer is very happy. Made about 47 grand on this trip, so not too bad for a couple of days' work. Um, took a little longer than I honestly expected, and again, uh, sadly, we, it was not an oversized load, so don't judge me on that. But uh, we made it, and uh, thank you guys so much for riding along with me. Please let me know, though, in the, in the comments uh, if you'd like to see more videos like this, what type of machinery, what type of trailers would you like, like me to pull, uh, would you like to see oversized loads, would you like to see super you know, heavy loads, would you like to see just regular jobs, uh, some type of uh, X-Series or whatever, let me know. I'm always open to you guys' suggestions, and you guys tend to have some pretty good ideas as well. But uh, thank you guys so much for riding along, and uh, as well, let me know what um, what's your favorite truck. And American truck or Euro truck sim. What's your favorite state or DLC? And so, until next time, remember you have three choices give up, give in, and give it all you got. Peace, love, and God bless you. I'll see you guys next time. Next video. Watch your ears. Sheesh. We out, baby.